Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of R&R. &R. We're going out to get a massage and do some axe throwing. Maybe go out to eat. And it's snowing outside. It sucks. It's going to be our first time going axe throwing. Well, real axes. I know we played the axe throwing game at um, Dave & Buster's. And Rihanna completely dominated me on that. But I'm going to show her because this is the real thing. So I'm going to be like... Yeah, yeah. Why are you doing the intro without me? We about to go. Peace out. We see y'all there. Alright guys, now we're at the Dragon Distillery. So the place we're going to is called Dragon Distillery. And I thought it was mainly for axe throwing. It's not. It says, please remember, we are first and foremost a distillery. So our focus is on crafting high-end spirits and cocktails. It says we do have food available and do offer axe throwing in games. Well... That was the first thing I picked on Groupon. They had the deal. All other places was charged like $200 or something. $200? How much they charge? How much they charge? How much do they charge for it? Let me double check. I think I got it for $60. $60? To throw some axes? Oh no, so the original price was... 46 I mean 48 How much was it? 25 Oh. Because okay. we had the... I had the, the Coupon code. Mm, that's good. Yeah. We'll see. We never been axed on before. I'm gonna try some stuff too if they have free samples. We're not drinking. Yeah, it's cold ass though. Mm. Dragging the stuff. Hey. Ooh. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Mm -hmm. Hello. So the Groupon comes with something where we can taste four spirits and this is our axe throwing voucher in the menu. And we got some nachos. nachos. You can go first. What's this? Butterfly elderberry vodka. Right. It smell good. It smell good? Yeah. How it tastes? It tastes good. What it tastes like? Sweet. Sweet. Longbow lemon vodka. That's your number two. Hold on. Miss that. <laughs> you smell a lemon. You smell a lemon. Like they don't like it? Don't like that. Uh, this is the strawberry cheesecake moonshine. Moonshine? Yeah. yeah. Moonshine. Remember yeah. that. Moonshine. One zero zero. <laughs> smell good. Smell like cheesecake. You like it? It's not bad. It's snowing. Alright, what's the last one? Lancelot Flaming Love Vodka. Flaming Love. Ooh, this one smells really good. It do? Flaming Love. <laughs> I feel the Flaming Love. You feel it? The first one I like the best. Alright, now we got the same thing. What she get? The butterfly elderberry vodka. Number, number one. one. Yep, number one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Swallow it, girl. You swallow it already? Swallow it. Oh gosh, she gonna throw up. Swallow it. Swallow it. Swallow it. Swallow it. If you can't do that, then you can't do the rest of them. <laughs> we'll see you at the axe throwing place over there. Alright, so, you guys will stand next to each other. You will alternate throwing, and then it sticks in the wall, and we grab it before you throw another one. So we don't break 
they are not that sharp, but they are still access to watch where you're swinging, your hands, feet, and legs. The best way to throw is both hands on the bottom. You can take it to your back and release right in front of you. Act straight up, right at eye level. All right. This is your line of reference. Ideally, you want to release it right above this line. Okay, cool. You first. You go first. Oh. Go ahead, baby. You said the best way is to go with two hands. That kind of scares me. You'll be fine. Do we have to stand up that though? Or this is your reference. Oh, reference? Okay. So, it's all in one hand. And then we'll just throw it. Yeah, just straight up and down. Oof. Alright. <laughs> You're just as bad as me. <laughs> Maybe we gotta throw harder. Throw harder? I don't know. Nice. Oh, you Two got it. Work. Two hands work. Go ahead. Hey, hey, you got to throw a little bit harder. I didn't get anything. You should do two hands if two hands is what worked. Oh my. Dang. I think you're winning if we're keeping score. <laughs> Yeah, but you're, no you're not, because you're not hitting anything. <laughs> oh, dang, you suck. I suck. <laughs> oh! You won. I won. You did good. I won. I hate it here. Why? Because I suck at X though. Hey, come to us. So Robbie's currently pumping the gas and regular at Exxon is 454. Diesel is 560. Just to let you know. So yeah, we just came from the mall, but before then we were at the distillery of the Axe Thorn place. And I think it was a, a decent time. You know, we mainly just went to do the Axe Thorn, but it just turned out that it was a distillery. I didn't really know where we were going because Robbie planned this day for us, so we were going to do that, do the axe throwing, and then we went to the mall, and we need to go to the store. I need to pick up some things. We might go to Ikea, too, because I like Ikea. And then after that, we're just going to, um, oh yeah, we need to get something to eat. I don't know where we're going to go, but then we're going to do our massage, and we might go out to eat with his friends for one of their birthday celebrations. Huh? What are we going to eat before the massage? Anything. Okay, but yeah, axe throwing, I wouldn't do it again. I wasn't that good at it, and it just wasn't that fun. And those samples of alcohol they gave us, it was like some moonshine and the other stuff. I didn't like any of them. I don't like alcohol, but Robbie drank all of the four samples he got. Yes, I did. Then I had some, I had some rum drink at the end. It was like fruit juices. You like that one? It wasn't that bad, and I didn't really taste any of the alcohol. I kept sipping on it, and I was just sipping away. It just tastes like juice, but I had to stop myself, because it did have, like, a slight alcohol aftertaste. All right, guys, so we just got some Chick-fil-A and coffee, and Robbie got cookie crumbs in his. Got some fries. We got spicy del deluxe with Colby Jack. I always get. And I got some nuggets. Polynesian sauce. So we're just about to eat and then we're gonna make our way over to the massage appointment. So guys, we're at the skate massage now. We're about to go in. So we're, we're about to go get a couple of massage with some hot stones and essential oils. Did it say hot stones on it? I don't know. Let me show y'all. Here's the outside of the place. Can't see nothing. Alright guys, so our massage started at 6, it's about 7.13 now, so yeah, less than an hour, and I thought it was good. It was good. As soon as I heard clapping though, 
I turned around. Oh, yeah, because he was like massaging and hitting me. Yeah, so I had a male masseuse, and Robbie had a female, and it was a little rough for me. Uh, I didn't like it, though. I didn't really like the hot stones. They put the hot stones on me, and it took me by surprise. I was like, I was like, this hot, this hot. I think he started laughing, but he did crack. He cracked all my toes. He cracked my wrists. He cracked my hands, my fingers. I did like when he was massaging my back mainly. My legs was good too, but he was like massaging my neck up here. It felt like he was like touching knots or something. He kept like picking at him. Yeah. Like, that hurts, sir. Yes. Yeah. What did you like about it? Everything. I feel very relaxed. My body felt loose. I could tell I had knots in some places because she kept being in one area. And then when she would go over with the thumb, I would, he she would, I would hear the little of like my, my muscles or whatever it's called. Yeah. And man. And he was touching my butt a lot. Yeah, that's when I turned around. I was like, I heard I heard the little. Baby, that wasn't for my butt. He was like hitting me in places. Yeah. And like. Well, when, uh, when my masseuse put the hot stones on my back, I was caught off guard. I but didn't know he was doing stones. I didn't know either. And every time it would walk away, I felt like he was going to come back and put something hot on me again. I was like, please don't bring no needles out. I was like, did you sign up for that acupressure thing? I was like, please don't do that. No, but it felt really good. I recommend this place, Escape Massage. We'll put their info down below if you want to schedule with them. This ain't no free shout out. There's tips. It's we need good. to get that money. They're going to pay us for, for sending them. No, they were good though. They were good, yeah. It was a, a nice massage. I didn't feel uncomfortable or anything. Felt really relaxing. The atmosphere felt really nice. It's better. It was better than the Axe Thorn. Axe Thorn? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was a nice day to relax. I mean, a nice time to relax. I only ever got a massage once before, and I was a teenager. Should we make this a regular thing? Comment down below. A regular massage, eh? Yeah. You like still once a month. You still didn't even tell me how much it costs. Once a month. Don't worry about that. It's a group on. I wonder if we're gonna wake up sore. Yeah, I felt like I might. I felt like I might wake up sore, cause he was going hard on my back. But we did, we did press medium hard. I should have just did medium, but Robbie said medium hard, and I then I was like, I'm oh, on medium hard, I guess. I, sh I should have just did medium. At first, when she started doing it, the pressure felt good. But then when we started, but then go, when they kept doing it, it started hurting. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like she was going harder and harder. I'm glad we didn't pick pick the sweetest massage one. Yeah. He was kneading my butt like this. Like, sir, that's my bone. And then he need my foot. He hit my foot like this. Yeah, same with me. That felt nice. Felt like no, I mean, it did feel nice. I feel like she was stretching my back out, too. I was not used to being hit. Yeah. All right, guys. Let us know what you guys think about this video. Comment down we below. Were about to go, I thought we were about to go out with your friends. Oh, you want to end the video over there? Nah, you can end it. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for our video for today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys think about this video. Also, let us know what other videos you'd like us to do in the future. Reviews on products or whatever, or wherever you want us to go. Peace out. we see you in the next video.